students who, who will choose the new media part will understand the network culture in a better way in the end. We look on how we understand the network, how relationships change in the network. Because of course we are all part of it, we all use Facebook, we all use Twitter, but we don't really know much about it. We don't even know which effect it has on us as persons or as individuals. So in the first semester, which is called New Media Culture, we think about how do relationships change in the network? How do consumer products change? How do we communicate? How, how we are linked? Yeah? If there's any sort of etiquette when we talk to each other, what exactly leaked means regarding copyright issues. Everything is free on the internet, is it really? Yeah? We look at this phenomenon and use tools to understand them better. In the second semester, we look especially on social networks. Who are the most important people in a network? How does, how does content spread in the network? How does a network work at all? How, how does itself keep itself alive? And in the third semester, which is called Social Media Lab, we try to find a practical way to do it, actually, on the internet, but also with all the problems that can arise because sometimes you can't plan everything. You have a communication idea, you have a strategy you want to implant in the market, but then there comes the consumer and the whole community comes back at you. How do you react in this position? So in the end, when you did all the semesters, did some research, rethought, rethought yourself as an individual in a network, you're able to take completely different decisions and of course, in combination with the other parts of specializations, you are able to even think more over network culture than, than you were able before, because you have a totally different impact from tourism, from finance, from creativity, etc. And it's all important for network culture. Meet Seversa.